most memorable for me, uh, at least in terms of the language, was when I was um, sitting in what ended up being an, a, like a sociology course that I took, um, and it was entirely in German. At the end of the class, I was able to give uh, a lecture, more or less, on one of the famous contributors to the field, and I did it entirely in German, and I got done at the end of the class, and the professor comes up to me and was like, you did really well. It was really great that none of her comments were about my language, they were all about the content. No one had any issues understanding what I wanted to convey, even though I'd spent a lot of time writing it and making sure I knew what I was saying. Yeah, I think, it, I mean, it's definitely an immersion experience. I really liked the way it was laid out, though, because by starting in Vienna and doing the intensive German courses at a language institute, it is a really great way to come into a lot of what Europe is. Europe is so international. I would definitely say so. Like, I don't really want to think about what it would have been like had I gone through another program and been set up with a lot of Americans. So the amount of independence and the amount of stick to itness that you have to have to go out and make friends who are German or make friends at the university through BCA is what I've been able to do in Frankfurt where I've been able to just go into settings where I don't know anybody well, where I can just kind of go in though and not instantly seek out an American or seek out an English speaking comfort blanket where I can jump into German and just kind of go for it and see what happens and let that form naturally rather than hearing or searching English and going to English as a comfort. Oh my goodness, yes. Um, the biggest thing for me in my time in Marburg was that I just spoke it. Like, I made mistakes, I sounded like an idiot, I made a lot of funny stories, like there were definitely times where I meant to say one word, but the one letter, two letter difference is such a big difference that it's really embarrassing. Um, but now that I'm here with the Fulbright, most of my everyday life is in German. Like, people ask me, oh, do you mind speaking English with me? It's, well, no. Like, I speak enough German as it is because of the ability that BCA gave me to just kind of go with it. Yeah, yeah, my favorite uh, BCA moment was probably um, of the excursions that we did. I really enjoyed our Strasbourg excursion. Like, that was a lot of fun to be able to go into this part of France together and to see the elements of German culture, but also French culture, um, so I really enjoyed that, but also our Berlin excursion was a lot of fun, like I would love to go back to Berlin because the way the excursion was set up, we saw the cool side of the city with a play and got to see the underground mentality that only Berlin has, but we also saw the history and we saw both sides of the city rather than just the, just the fun part you go when you're a student and, you know, when you're seeking a thrill, or just the history side when you go with the program, we got both sides. Yeah, I mean, it was actually a really simple process. That was the biggest thing that I was kind of concerned of because when you sometimes work with your university at home, it can sound like it's kind of difficult to study abroad. And well, yeah, maybe on a couple sides on their side, but in terms of the BCA side, it was a very simple, like not simple, simple, but an application that didn't make me afraid to fill it out. Like I wasn't concerned about whether I would be able to sit down and actually fill everything out and be accepted. Um, and then once we got on site, even though we had the independence, there was always somebody in each location or there was always a talking point that we could go back to or there was always something that was there just on the, you know, if something bad were to happen, we had a contact point. If you were to get completely lost, you had a number and you had a building and you had a person to go to, um, whether it was our director or whether it was um, one of the other contacts or a professor or somebody, there was always something there. On the academic side, it was really um, good that it was super, super open because when you get to Germany, it seems like the course schedules are never exactly what they say and you don't realize that until you get into a class. But working with BCA, it was really easy about two weeks into the semester to go in and be like, well, I registered for these five classes and only three of them fit, so now what do we do? Well, that was a super easy question to handle with BCA and on like there was no issues in 
putting everything back on the BCA side to my university and getting credit for what I was supposed to get credit for. Like I even got a separate BCA transcript that I was able to send in to the Fulbright because my own, um, because it was easier to do that than to put it onto my American transcript where it didn't always make sense. Yeah, um, for me the biggest thing was honestly just coming to um, our director's house and all together and coming together and do joining a meal together. Um, that was a really big thing because we all were living in a dorm and like, yeah, it's, it's a dorm, but coming to somebody's house and having a meal together and listening to music that is like home or coming together and being able to see someone's family and be in someone's house and even coming back today that has been something that's been really enjoyable is just having this this feeling again that you don't always get when you're running around doing life living in an apartment with roommates. Yeah, actually we have um, a Facebook group that or a Facebook message that is more or less consistently there that if there's something that pops up that reminds one of us of our experiences together then yeah, but there's also a couple of special people that I met there that since I've been back in Germany or even in the process of applying to the Fulbright, um, they understood what it was like to go through culture shock and to want to come back. I would always say go. Like that, that's always my answer because you will never know what you missed unless you go. If I would not have be back here in Germany if it wasn't for going in the first place. With BCA specifically, I definitely say go. Yeah, like it's a smaller program, but that has its benefits. Like I would not be here again if I'd done another program. I wouldn't be in Germany and I wouldn't be nearly as comfortable living in Frankfurt and being an adult and being independent abroad if it wasn't for BCA. Like I've spent most of my time today talking with my program director about the benefits that specifically BCA gave me in the independence, in the cultural immersion, in the small program. The amount that I gained couldn't have been gained from anything other than BCA, I would say that, even talking with my other friends who studied abroad.